This video is brought to you by Elmer's Products. Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make your own rainbow art book. For the pages, I'm using 15 sheets of different colored 12 by 12 inch cardstock. Start by working with 5 sheets at a time. Cut each sheet in half and arrange the separate halves in two piles so the colors are in opposite order. Now fold each half sheet in half and place them inside of each other according to how they were arranged in their respective piles. You should have two sections like this. These sections are also called signatures. Repeat that process with the rest of your cardstock for a total of six signatures. Next, you're gonna make a hole punching template. Cut and fold the cardstock the same way you did as your other pieces and mark at every inch along the fold. Next, punch through the markings with a needle, making sure to punch in the exact middle of the fold. Now use that template to punch holes in every page in each signature. Next, have another piece of cardstock, fold each half in half, poke holes, and these will be your cover pieces, also referred to as signatures. So now you should have a total of eight signatures. Then take out some strong string. You can actually use dental floss, but this is jewelry twine. Connect all the signatures together using the Coptic stitch. To learn how to do the Coptic stitch, check out this video by Jay Scala. That's how I learned. Next, trim your loose threads and dab tacky glue on those ends to secure them. My favorite thing about the Coptic stitch is how the book lays flat when opened. So pretty. Now you're gonna use some spray adhesive to glue the cover pieces together, creating a stronger cover. Time for a little art action. I cut a six inch by six inch piece of cardstock and drew backwards words on one side. If you're psycho about perfection, check out the free stencils at spraypaintstencils.com. Next, I flip the paper over and use paint markers to create block lines like so. Then I use my X-Acto knife to cut out the letters. Using the square as a template, I cut out a landscape picture from an old magazine. The dot roller works really great for attaching pictures and thicker pieces of paper to scrapbooks. Next, I use the spray adhesive to glue my words on top. I love this look. Then I drew and cut out some stars and attached them with the glue dots. Super strong. Other mediums I like to use are feather pens, thin paint pens, and stamps. You could also make some awesome pop-up art by following this Elmer's video. The possibilities are absolutely endless. Have fun and be creative. 